one of the fear of the of the platform sometimes is to think that as they're financing 100% the film, there's a form of de-responsabilization of the producer. Um, and this is really not the case. Uh, as Marine said, we produce it in the same way. Um, and I think it's very important for streamers to have strong producers defending their strong uh, director's ideas and vision uh, to make singular films. I was just wondering how how you see your role within the industry. I mean, how I mean, there are I mean, the streaming landscape has changed so much in recent years. There are so many launches, so many platforms have emerged. But what is Prime Video's role? How do you perhaps compare to the others? What's the kind of what's the positioning of Prime Video really? Well, I would say that we do offer a complementary way to, to watch content and, and movies and knowing how uh, in France, partic particularly the country is uh, one of the most important in Europe in terms of movie production. And um, I think our value is really in the, the breadth of the content we offer. Um, we are really a unique service, so not only SVOD, but also video on demand and channels and sports as well. Um, so I think also what our added value is that we want to be a, a positive force uh, in the industry and an integrated uh, player. And as such, we do take risks uh, in acquiring content that we think our customers will like. And um, I, I think that that's our role as well. Is uh, for example, for example, Salam premiered last year in Cannes, and Brut contacted us to acquire Salam, and we did because we thought Melanie Diam's movie um, it was intimate and it would resonate with our young audience. And I think that is our role. It's an additional way to make and and watch different films differently. I think we also want to be a creative force and, and trying to create uh, new ways, new opportunities for producers. We, we are a partner not only for producers, but for broadcasters, for writers, for, for directors. And our role in this industry is to support creative vision. We are here to support director's vision, writer's vision, and to kind of allow them to finance their ideas to the level that they would want to, and to, to kind of deliver for our customers movies that are ambitious, that are differentiating, uh, and, and we, we're doing so by really working hand in hand with a, a bunch of, of different partners, really from broadcasters, writers, directors. Uh, that's quite important for us to be seen as a partner right. and, and as someone that is really open to any kind of creative discussion. And once you're working on a project, can you just talk a little bit about the relationship perhaps with producers, directors, writers? How, 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 how does that process kind of work? What can Prime Video bring to, um, to, to, to producers, writers, directors? Um, you know, what are the benefits, I suppose, of, of them coming to you rather than to anybody else? I don't know. I, th I think they're really, the producers are really an interface between the business and uh, the creatives and the talents. And uh, we, we have a pretty flexible approach when it comes to partnering together and, and uh, trying to be agile in, uh, in how to make that project happen. Um, so we kind of try to work as a fluid group with them um, with regular back and forth um, and also um, nurturing these long lasting relationships with producers, studios, um, and distributors, and also the, the talents and the creative team. And my team is doing a terrific job nurturing these relationships on, on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, I would guess that's the way we kind of want to work. And I think when, when producers get to know us, um, how we work, who we are, what we're looking for, I think that they want to work with us with again. You. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and Tom, Thomas? I think it's quite the same, right? We are here to work with people. Mm -hmm. And we are here to support. We are 
on the original side, we're bearing the financial risk, right? So at some point, we also need to get involved and to make sure that things are going the right way. But we're, we're selecting our partners because of their expertise, right? So we're not here to teach them things. Marine, I was wondering, and, and, and Guillaume, for, for you at, 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 at GOMO, what's been the difference or what was the difference between producing a movie for a streaming service like Prime Video versus a movie uh, for the cinema? Were there kind of differences in approach that you took? Um, do you think there's a particular kind of movie genre that fits this the, the streaming model? I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about the different, you know, what was it like compared to making a movie for the cinema, basically? Well, it's a different process, of course. Um, as I was saying, uh, you are producing for the platform, so you are not the producer of the movie. So um, uh, it's a great learning process uh, for us and also for the for, for Prime uh, to work on this on this new way. Um, I would say that it's. Um, uh, Maybe on the organization process, uh, it can be a bit um, confusing um, at first because we are used to uh, have the control when we produce um, uh, on the artistic side, but also on the financing side. So in, in this specific case, uh, as you are producing for the platform, um, you are uh, uh, working more closely uh, with the with uh, with uh, with Thomas, uh, so it's it's a uh, it's a weekly process. Uh, but once you've you you've um, moved on that, uh, it's great. It's a, right. it's a, it, m m lots of freedom in creativity, uh, and um, and it's for us it's really a, a, new, a new opportunity. It's a complementary offer, and it's uh, it's not. Uh, we are still producing the same numbers of movies for theaters, so it's not a. We, we are not saying okay. So now we are going to produce for platform and not for for theaters. It's really a complementary offer. To again, uh, our aim is to uh, create stories, mm. and we create stories for a, a new, pu different public. Mm and on an uh, international, worldwide uh, exposure, uh, which is very um, um, uh, creatively interesting for us and for the talent. And Guillaume, for, for you, Guillaume, I mean, again, the difference between the, a platform like Prime Video and, and the cinema, which um, you could add there? No, I think Marine said a lot, but I think, just if we step back a bit, I think, as a producer, you choose stories based on two assumptions. One, you kind of want to fall in love with the story uh, because you're going to work several years on it. And second, you're looking if it's, there's a market opportunity, opportunity there. And this analysis of the market is like a, a little um, pact you have with the talent being, if you like his story, you're going to find the money to produce it. And so this grid of lecture of the project, uh, uh, market-wise, um, has changed a little bit for us because now we can add a new grid. We, we have the theater cinema grid because we're also a distributor um, and we can add another grid to the choice of those projects because now we've learned the streamers grid, which is different sometimes. Um, and so uh, 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 I'm talking about, I'm making a step back because then we can go into the very details, but in terms of is there particular projects for particular platforms this is not the way we kind of think it at Gomo. We're looking for great stories, great talents, and then we see on the grid where can it have the most interest, where can it work the best, is it a project because of its genre, because of its, the way it's written, uh, that should go on platforms or should go in theaters. And this is an ongoing conversation, it, it changes a lot, like in theaters, the strategy always changes a bit. but. Um, we're trying to have this approach so we make the good choices and then when we kind of think, oh, this is a great subject for a streamer, um, then several things come in, in, in motion, which is, it's not exactly written the same way. Um, you know, you look at films on device, mm. you can do a lot of things uh, uh, on the side. When you're in cinema, you're stuck in a, in a, in a, in a theater. So the way the story evolves in the, in the writing process changes a little bit. So then it's an ongoing conversation with the director or the writers. And then in the casting choices, I think the experience we had on Overdose was 
very interesting conversation about casting where we had sometimes assumption that Amazon kind of were looking for very renowned persons, um, which was true in part. But then we had great surprises where, you know, they were looking for fresh, face, fresh faces and, and trying to push people that wasn't on necessarily on our uh, uh, theater grid in terms of analyze. Um, so that would enhance and, you know, uh, give more um, uh, well, creative interest to the project. And then, of course, in the making of it, Marin said, there's all the process of reporting, <coughs> and, and this is, take, takes a bit of time, but it's, it's a normal process. Mm -hmm. But I think, and the last thing is, um, I think maybe one of the fear of the, of the platform sometimes is to think that as they're financing 100% the film, there's a form of de-responsabilization of the producer. Um, and this is really not the case. Uh, as Marin said, we produce it in the same way. Um, and I think it's very important for streamers to have strong producers defending their strong uh, director's ideas and vision uh, to make singular films. Mm. Um, and sometimes we had strong conversations. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's true that the narrative construction is very important. And for us, it was very new uh, to work for uh, public viewers mm. and it was very interesting to um to have all this conversation that we have during editing and maybe in the future if we uh because we always learn <laughs> from our first experience uh maybe we will uh, take more time during the the first phase phase of writing um and but again on this specific project we were very uh, we, are, we were in a very fast uh, uh, process yeah.